Ken and Isaiah are eating pumpkin pie with their friends. They want to figure out how much pie they have eaten so far. There are seven of them in total, and each of them has eaten two-fifths of a pie. Ken said you can solve this problem by multiplying two-fifths times seven. And that makes sense. Each of them ate two-fifths, and there's seven folks. So I would multiply two-fifths times seven. So he multiplied and got 14 over 35. Now, this is a little bit suspicious. And here's the work that he did. He said two-fifths times seven is equal to two times seven over five times seven, which equals 1435. So this is starting to smell real fishy right now. Isaiah says that 14 35 cannot be correct because 14 35 is less than one whole pie. So this is definitely true that 14 35 is less than one whole pie. Which of the following best explains this situation? So let's before even looking at the explanations, let's see what's fishy about this. So let me get my little notepad and write it out. So he literally took two fifths and he attempted to multiply it by seven. And he said that this is the same thing as taking the two times the seven over the five times the seven. And that's how he got the 14 over 35. And I encourage you to pause this and try to figure out why this doesn't make sense yourself. Now let's think about what actually went on here. If you multiply two fifths times, or if you multiply seven times, you multiply the numerator times seven and the denominator by seven, you're actually not changing the value of the fraction. This is equivalent to saying two fifths times seven over seven, which is equivalent to two fifths times one, which is equivalent to two fifths. 14 over 35 is just another way. It's an equivalent representation of two fifths. This is just how much pie only one person should have eaten. So how should he have thought about this? Well, there's a couple of ways you could think of it. Two fifths times seven could literally mean seven two fifths. It literally could mean, so two fifths times seven literally means one two fifth plus another two fifths plus another two fifths. And we do this seven times. So that's four two fifths, that's five two fifths, that's six two fifths, and that's seven two fifths. Sorry, my brain isn't working. And that's seven two fifths. And if you were to add all of these together, how many fifths do you have? How many fifths do you have? Well, you have two plus two plus two plus two plus two. Let's see, that's five plus two plus two. You have two seven times fifths. Or this is another way of saying you have seven times, let me write it this way, you have two times seven fifths. Or another way of saying is this is equal to 14 over 14 over five. And this is more than, this is well over more than one. Five goes into 14 two times and you have a remainder of four. So it's two and four fifths pi. So this is what he should have done. But you might be saying, well, you know, this is, well, how would I just multiply this if I didn't even have to think it through all of these, adding all these two fifths together? Well, one way to think about it is that seven is the same thing as seven over one. So he could have just said two over five times seven over one. Seven over one is the exact same thing as seven. And that would be equal to two times seven in the numerator, which is 14. And the denominator would be five times one, which is equal to Five, and you'd get the same answer. So now let's actually go back and select the right choice. I forgot that we actually had to see which, which explanation is the right explanation. So explanation one is that Ken didn't multiply correctly. Multiplying two-fifths times seven is the same as adding two-fifths seven times. This is exactly right. This is exactly what we just went through. The correct answer is 14 fifths or two or four fifth, two and four fifths. So explanation A seems to be the right one, but we'll just read the other ones just to see if there's some flaws in them. Explanation B, Ken multiplied correctly but forgot to cancel out the sevens in the fraction. Since seven sevens is equal to one, two fifths times seven is equal to two fifths times one. Well, obviously two fifths times seven is not the same thing as two fifths times one, so this is kind of nutty. Explanation C, since Ken must add up all the pi for seven of them, he should have added seven and two fifths instead of multiplied. No, that makes no sense. He should be multiplying. Ken is correct. His friends just didn't eat that much pie. No, that's that's that doesn't make sense either. It's explanation A.